Hi, I'm Ellen Harris for my historic district. Architecturally, Savannah's Victorian district is one of the most unique around. An area of 150 acres, it's known as Savannah's first suburb. But this neighborhood started out as private growth outside of the city commons. Hugh Golson has called Duffy Street home for almost 30 years. His fully restored elegant home wasn't typical of the neighborhood's earliest structures. The first people out here, they lived in simple cabins. Most lots were divided into two cabins. One would face the street, one would face the alley. Even if you look at the 1880 Sanborn maps, you still see lots of cabins are covering the lot. You also see huge trees throughout the Victorian district, well over 100 years old. Most of these larger trees were planted here for the original development. They are now reaching the end of their peak, but the city did plant through here. Most of these were dirt streets for a number of years. And of course, streetcars whizzed through here. Um, streetcars ran down Whitaker Street. They did turn here on Duffy and Hen, headed east for a while. So that too was a good part of um, neighborhood expansion. People could grab the streetcars, make it to work downtown, and they wouldn't be hot and sweaty from walking all the way to work or riding a horse or whatever else had been the older convenience. There were many amenities in the Victorian district, including sprawling Forsyth Park on the north side. And the southern end of Forsyth Park has been used for many things, such as a barbecue celebrating the return of the Doughboys from World War I. The neighborhood stretches to Anderson Lane on the south. Also in the neighborhood, the Henry Street School by G.L. Norman, and also additions by Alfred Eichberg, the western and eastern wings. Its location so close to downtown made it a bustling suburb. When the neighborhood was first founded, this was a neighborhood of corner stores. That is something that the German community brought to Savannah is their knowledge of ledger books and running accounts. And of course, they came in with all the corner stores. Bull Street, of course, was a very significant corridor, but it will be developed and redeveloped over time. And like all neighborhoods, the Victorian district has changed. Some, like Hugh Golson, have strived to keep the uniqueness from the late 1800s still visible. This neighborhood, through its National Register status, does offer it with some state tax credits and other things can be built upon that, and it's something to be proud of. Since 1974, the Victorian District has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The city's first suburb, to many it's the most unique of all my historic districts. I'm Ellen Harris.